What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the brand new Liverpool Cavalier Watcher episode And this morning Lassar already played 25 games uh, for Watford uh, before, uh, before he signed for us uh, So I just wanted to show you his uh, stats But you know what, I just have a feeling that he needs to start and he needs to start scoring goals And Robertson is back into the starting line but this morning Lassar starts and Mane has to be banged because Ma uh, sorry, Haaland is on the bench, Mane starts with Holland has just not it just doesn't get enough goals for me anymore I'm not sure what happened with Holland but it seems like his goals have dried up this season so I'm trying out something different the big story Andrew Robertson he's back from injury and raring to go he starts welcome to the Burnham of Liverpool game Burnham of are just outside of the relegation zone so this is, is a game that we have to win after losing to Arsenal in a fashion that wasn't good enough defensively we were all over the pace place and I expect a big game from Ismail Lassar here Jota and Nabil Nabil Fakir has to score yes what a finish Fakir is on fire! He scores against Arsenal and now he scores against Buenemov. So the injuries meant that Fakir and now plays as one of our attacking midfielders and he's grabbing that opportunity and again the composure here to go past the defender and then the finish wonderful goal exactly what we needed Ismail Asar oh that is wonderful and look at Jota I see Jota in the middle, wide open. Jota, our top scorer in the league, scores again. It's 2 0. This is exactly the start that we wanted. What a through ball to Jota. I think it was Fakir who finds Jota brilliantly, and Fakir now with a goal and an assist, putting in a man of the perform match of performance. 17 goals for Diogo Jota now. I don't think he can catch Bruno Fernandes, but uh, he's trying. Cunha, Fakir, Jota, Sadio Mane, Ismail Nassar, bang it! Oh, let's go! The new boy, the new signing, Ismail Nassar just scored an absolute banger! You love to see it. He already starts repaying his 75 million pound transfer fee. What a finish. The defender was closing him down. So I thought, let's have a shot because otherwise I will lose the ball. And what a finish. What a goal. Top corner. Brilliant. So already he now has his fourth goal in the Premier League. He only scored three goals in 25 Premier League games for Watford. Um, so now I think he is going to score a lot more with Liverpool. Billing? No. Van Dijk? Yes, come on, Fakir! And Morelos, that is too easy for Alisson. So I, I wanted to give Robertson 60 minutes to get himself up to speed. And Curtis Jones back from his injury, he also comes on. And Harvey Elliott as well as Neko Williams. So three young players, I just wanted to give the youngsters a chance. Mane. Oh, Curtis! Curtis Jones! What a goal! No! How did that not go in? Wait a second, wasn't that in? Oh my goodness, I need goal line technology, dudes. Curtis Jones to Mane. Harvey Elliott. Oh, I love that. Cunha. Oh, Cunha, please! What a save. Unlucky. Yes, Kabak. Mane. Harvey Elliott. And surely this time Cunha, he misses it. Damn, lucky. How is this not a goal? Look at, oh my goodness. Curtis Jones, look at how close that is to a goal. Ah, that is inches away. Ah, that is inches away, man. Ismail Asar scoring on his first start at Liverpool is very promising for the future. He properly announced himself with an absolute banger. The Liverpool fans are loving it. Second half I couldn't score, but it wasn't for the lack of trying. I tried my best. And I think we thoroughly deserved this win. We should have scored at least a goal in the second half. Jota was the man of the match. He keeps on scoring. So the previous deal fell through. James Smith didn't want to go out on loan to that other club but Frankfurt uh, is now trying to loan him out. Uh, they proposed a two-year loan. I will accept it. 
and Bobby Firmino is back from his injury. That is fantastic news. So happy about it. Man United won again, so it was vital to beat Bournemouth. So we are ahead of them, but only by goal difference. But we have we have an eight goal difference in our goal difference, which is quite healthy. Chelsea and Arsenal played out a two to draw. That is the perfect result for us because now we pulled away a little bit from the chasing pack. Tottenham won, so they are now up to third place. Uh, Man City are just uh, out of contention of the top four race at this point. They just dropped too many points. They are now 10 points behind Arsenal. And it looks like Leeds, West Ham and Crystal Palace will get relegated, but Crystal Palace, uh, they need to pick up a lot of points if they want to get out of trouble. Bruno Fernandes' record-breaking season continues. 25 goals in 26 matches. If he stays injured, free he will break uh, Mo Salah's goal record. Harry Kane and Jota is se are second with 17 goals and we have Haaland on 11 goals but I expected a lot more from Haaland. Uh, Mane with 9 also needs to score a little bit more. Haaland has 11 assists which is brilliant and uh, yeah I will rotate Haaland and Ismail Assar in the team up until Mo Salah is back into the starting lineup. But great news as well that Trenarks run out returned from injury as well. Jota is our top scorer with 18 goals. Mane, Haaland and Brewster have, has 11 goals each. Now Cunha has 9, which is great. And uh, Bobby Firmino is also back from injury, so hopefully he can add to have that 7 goal tally that he has. And Man United have dropped points. They have drawn against Fulham, so we can go 2 points clear of Man United if we win our next game against Leicester. But Leicester are also pushing for a European place, so it will be tough. Of Tottenham losing to Aston Villa is a big blow to their hopes as well so the team above us and below us both dropped points so this is a glorious opportunity and Leicester have some really good players Ocampo, Sambolo and Galeno is a brand new front line for Leicester but they also signed Fred and Kovacic uh, and Luke Shaw, Jonathan Ta so it's almost a brand new Leicester City team let's beat them welcome to Anfield Liverpool Leicester it's always an entertaining go fast Leicester City are an attacking side so I don't expect them to sit back this is going to be a fun game I'm sure Robertson Ismail Assar who keeps his place after his uh, heroics in the previous game where he scored Nabil Fakir Jota and look at Cunha please Cunha oh my goodness what a start and it's Cunha who scores straight away it's 1-0 Liverpool so early on let's go Cunha he is on a goal scoring spree this guy and one of the main reasons why we signed him is I wanted to have an attacking midfielder who can score goals what a pass by Jota and Cunha oh that is a brilliant half scissor kick goal by Cunha he had to do it so he gets ahead of the defender and Jan Zomer who was a heroic goalkeeper for Switzerland in the Euros can't keep it out Brendan Rodgers is livid and Cunha has now seven goals in the league Ismail Assar Jota and Ismail Assar goes in and he scores! Ismail Assar scores as well! What a start! It's 2 0 after just 10 minutes. Liverpool on fire! This is brilliant! Oh, look at this run that Ismail Assar is making! And after getting a close first touch, he buries it into the top corner. I didn't really want to mess about, so I thought with Sar, I want to get his goal scoring going. So, and this is why I have started him because Erling Haaland has had a massive goal drought. He scored like once in the past 10 games or something like that. And now Ismail Assar has two goals in two starts. So he scored basically more goals than Haaland in the last 10 games absolutely incredible and Bolo are you kidding okay Alisson all right this Suma come on oh, that's too easy but Alisson makes a huge save and Fakir oh Mane was almost in what I thought Gomez had it I honestly thought Gomez had it Fred Alisson, a big save again. Really? No! Oh, yes, Van Dijk. Wonderful. And Mane. Mane has acres of space because look, the Leicester players, all of them. Okay. This is brilliant. Jota. Fakir. 
and Jota! Oh, what a save, Zomer! Cunha, oh, that is really nice composure and it's my Lazar. Come on, oh, this is wonderful! Gomez! And Jota! Ah, oh, that was blocked, unlucky. But uh, if we keep the ball here, we have a great opportunity. Money. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, no, don't look at this. Oh, my goodness. What is Crystal Palace, I mean, Leicester City doing? And Ismail Asar gets another goal. He is on a roll. Three goals in two games. I, I accidentally pressed the triangle button. I'm not going to lie. I should have shot with Fakir. But I was so surprised that I could get the ball here. It worked out because Ismail Asar was in, either, in an even better position. And who knows, maybe Fakir would have missed that chance. Great finish. 3 near Game over. Oh no. Fred, he's wide open. Are you kidding me? What a save, Alisson. He is just incredible, Alisson, honestly. Bissouma. And go on. Go on. It's my Lazar. Look at how fast he is. He's just a cheat code, honestly. This guy. Oh no. Bobby. Firmino. Haaland. Two. Bobby! Oh, Sommer saves it. Bobby is back, but he can't score. It's my Lazar. And I see Haaland. Go on. Go on, Haaland. Come on. You're faster. You're stronger than everyone. Erling Haaland. He badly needs a goal. And he gets a goal. Erling Haaland. Maybe benching him was the kick up the backside that he desperately needed because yeah as I said Erling Haaland has been lacking goals this season last season he was our top scorer this season for some reason the, goal, the goals are just not flowing for him but this time he gets past everyone and absolutely hammers it home what an emphatic victory this is absolutely much needed as well because we squandered a six-point lead over Man United by losing to the likes of Chelsea and Fulham, I think. But this time, there was no question. From minute one, we dominated and we were ruthless and clinical. And Leicester also had some chances, but Alisson saved everything. It's a rare clean sheet because we don't keep clean sheets very often. Ismail Lassar was the man of the match with two goals and an assist. He has been so far a brilliant signing. This is a fantastic result, especially because both Chelsea and Arsenal also dropped points. So everybody in the top five dropped points except us. That is brilliant. And let's see what Everton did. Everton also lost to Man City. So basically, all of the top seven dropped points points except us which is amazing now we are two points out of Man United five points out of Arsenal six points out of Tottenham that is huge and I'm really really I think uh, we are in pole position to win the Premier League title once again Crystal Palace West Ham and Leeds United are in big trouble but Crystal Palace still have a, a glimmer of hope as you would say to stay up but Fulham Sheffield Watford Bournemouth they are on paper weaker than Crystal Palace West Ham or Leeds but they are at the moment the four teams who will stay up Bruno Fernandes Fernandez is the top scorer and I think we won't be able to catch him. Jota is joint second with 17 goals. Haaland now has 12 goals, so even though Haaland had an underwhelming season so far, he is still chipping in with goals and Haaland has the most assists, but Jota also has 10. And finally, Alisson kept another clean sheet, so he now has four clean sheets in 21 games. That's not a lot. And we start our knockout stage campaign with uh, Liverpool against Frankfurt. And I decided to bring back Haaland into the team. Fakir is very tired, so Jota moves back just a little bit. Haaland, Mane and Ismail Assar with Jota and Cunha behind is a great front line. Let's score some away goals because in this year's FIFA, there are still away goals counting. But from next season, there will be no away goals in uh, UA for competitions. Trent is back in the starting lineup after his injury. The focus is Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's fit enough to start. We have all the action for you live next. Welcome to Frankfurt Liverpool Champions League knockout stage. This is where it all begins. Uh, I mean the proper Champions League competition. And last season, after getting to back-to-back -back Champions League finals, we won one and lost one just like Liverpool in real life. Last season, we got not 
jumped out by Leipzig in the last 16, so we cannot afford to go out in the last 16 again. Jota, bang! Oh, good save. There was an opening there. Jota, Jota, please! Come on, what the hell? <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. What was that goal? That is hilarious. The goalkeeper collided with his own defender. I'm spamming the shoot, but oh my goodness, the, the defender fail spawns onto the ground and takes out his own goalie and then Jota says thank you very much it's a Christmas present <laughs> in the Champions League and we have an away goal and Jota can also score in the Champions League not just in the Premier League love that Cunha and Jota what a finish this is unbelievable! Diogo Jota just scored an absolute wonder strike into the top corner and it's 2-0 Liverpool, we are running riot! We start in a similar fashion to the Leicester game, look at this pass by Cunha and Jota thumps it with perfect accuracy and the perfect amount of power into the roof of the net, the goalkeeper has absolutely no chance. Oh wow, Diogo Jota, he has been the player of the season so far, no question. He has been absolutely immense, honestly. He's scoring so many goals. Oh no, Paulsen! Oh, Alisson, well done, Robertson. You know what, we don't have to rush the play. Ismail Asar, he's in! Oh, blocked. Uh, really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. No. Barrios. Oh, I thought that was in, but Alisson makes another. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Tranox Ronald almost was broken into two halves because Alisson caught the ball. And then I don't know what happened, but <laughs> that was actually hilarious. Haaland. Oh, this is a lovely play. Mane. He steps on the ball, he finds Jota, and Cunha, please, Cunha, yes, it's free, I think we are through to the quarterfinals, Cunha scored a wonderful third goal, and I just cannot see Frankfurt winning by four goals at Anfield, if we keep a clean sheet here, then I think we are through, oh, look at this, oh, Cunha, the trickery, everything, oh, it's just, oh, what a lovely player he is, and now Cunha, I'm sure, is also into double figures for the season. Oh, oh, Henderson, Brewster is in, please, come on, <laughs> God. I was too cocky, I thought that I could skill the goalie and twice the front foot defender blocks my shot. Oh no, I'm not going out to him. Van Dijk, wonderful defending. It's just fun, having Van Dijk in my team is just a cheat code defensively. He's so good, he bails me out so many times. Elliot, Harvey Elliot. He lays it off and Haaland he can go through, oh, Erling Haaland! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me, it's four. This is just so unfair on Frankfurt. I don't think there is a four goal difference between the two teams, but I'm not sure what got into me today, but I'm just feeling so good. I'm, I'm playing my best FIFA of the whole season, I think. Back to back, four nil wins. Uh, it's unheard of in this carry mode. Normally, defensively, I always concede one, two or three goals or sometimes five goals against Burnley. You know, you have been watching this series, but today I'm in my best form. And that's the first goal for Haaland in the Champions League. So that's one of the reasons why he has been struggling. He, has, he had no goals in the Champions League. Oh man, up until now. But that is a big goal for Haaland's confidence as well. Come on. Come on, Brewster. Haaland. Mane, Mane, please, Sadio, it's five, it's just unfair, it's so unfair, the second leg is a formality, Mane scores the fifth goal, this is just unbelievable, Frankfurt have made so many mistakes, and this is an ultimate difficulty maybe 
Today I just got the better of the AI in every single department we were better and Mane also needed a goal. Since his injury he hasn't been scoring as freely as before but that is a good finish. Second goal for Mane in the Champions League and what a win this is. What a win! And the Liverpool fans should go absolutely crazy on the touchline. What an absolutely amazing victory this was. 5-0, I never dreamed about this. But I, I went with my strongest lineup because I felt if we could decide this game in the first leg, then the second leg we could play the second team, the young players could play, have a chance. 14 shots, 12 on target, we could have even scored more. Honestly, we could do a 10 minute highlights show of just this one game. It was that good. Jota with another man of the match performance, two goals. Haaland and Cunha both got two assists as well. And Man United lost at home to Lazio, I love to see that, that is brilliant. Tottenham also won in Naples, which is quite amazing as well. Man City, Bayern ended in a 2-2 draw, Bayern, Man City rather. Man Paris Saint-Germain, Atletico Madrid, Roma and Real Madrid all won away from home in the first legs, which is quite remarkable that there has been so many away victories. Basically seven out of the eight games played all ended in an away win. So the group winners, which are the teams on the left right now, have won seven out of the, out of the eight, eight games. Absolutely incredible. But Real Madrid Juventus could still have anything happen and a lot of ties are still very, very open. I love the Champions League and I want to get to, uh, to the final and win it for you guys once again. And let's check out the Champions League top scorers. Gomez of Atletico Madrid is the top scorer with Rushin. Harry Kane is third and we don't really have an alternate top scorer because we have rotated the team uh, quite a lot. Haaland has three assists in two goals in two games. That's pretty pretty decent. And Diogo Jota already hit the 20 goal mark. Absolutely brilliant. Haaland has 13, Mane has 12, Brewster has 11, and Brewster is back from his injury, so hopefully he can add to that tally. I, I want Salah to get back from his injury. He still is two weeks away, and hopefully he can get back fit very, very soon. I want the likes of Firmino, Saar, Fakir, Harry Elliott, and as many of them as possible to get to 10 goals. How amazing would it be to have eight or nine players who scored 10 goals each, that would be a new record at Liverpool. And I will end the episode here, but in the next one you will see the League Cup final, Man City against Liverpool. That is going to be a special epic game, really looking forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later guys, goodbye.